Bobby here, Madness 80, Pokemon Select, Jazzwares, again, a little late, a couple months, uh, I know some people have had this for about, you know, since August, I got mine at this point about two months ago, but I still wanted to go ahead and check this out, uh, I like Greninja, I had a Greninja figure before, I don't know what the heck happened to it, this one seems a little bigger, and a little taller, um, I, I, I really wish I had it, I think it was Tony who did it, I could be wrong, let me know in the comments. But this guy definitely seems oversized. Uh, here we go in the standard Jazzwares Pokemon Select packaging. A little shiny Greninja there. Let's get that glare. Boom. You're waiting for it. Looks good. Waiting on Rayquaza. Knowing me, I'll, I'll review it two, three months after it drops. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, yeah. He's, again, uh, I think that's going to be my gripe. You know how I am with scale. Uh, so we'll go ahead and rip this dude open, standard box. Underneath this will be a stand, like in this layer here. And yeah, all right. So out of the package, your Pokeball, Pokemon stand. However, this one does have a different arm. Uh, no, it doesn't. It actually split. I thought it was a separate piece, which would have extended this to be longer, but I guess not. Plugs into the base. Rotation there. Rotation there. And it's cool. Greninja does have the peg on the back, so it is easy for him to stand. So we'll go ahead and use that because on its own, this this isn't happening, man. I'm sure there's some balance kings out there that might be able to do this. Oh, I'm not one of them. Okay, there we go. Uh, but yeah, this figure looks all right so far. Maybe I'll hate it as time goes on. Maybe I won't. Uh, let's get that. That. There we go. So his feet are touching the ground. And there we go. Grey Ninja out of the package. Looking huge again. This is huge. Um, yeah, so Jazzwares, I think, has knocked it out of the park with... God, this creaky table. I'm sorry. I'm doing it, doing these reviews somewhere else today. Um, Jazzwares knocked it out of the park with the Charizard and the Articuno. This guy, however, um, is okay so far. Look at that tongue. Uh, it looks like a Earthworm Jim, like an exaggerated cartoon of a tongue. And then these aren't spinning symmetrically because the peg is off there. As you can see, the center is hollow. But it's nice that this Greninja has accessories. I don't think another Greninja has ever had accessories. But let's, let's just do articulation now. So his head and swivel there's nothing else as you know he wraps his tongue around him like a scarf and then the tongue is segmented into some articulation there articulation there articulation there and then here as well so that's pretty cool you know that's not too bad let's get this back uh again it's a little weird i feel like you know you can draw some big earthworm gym eyes have the mouth separated there uh yeah, and then the arms, just so thin joints, man. I feel like if you're not careful, this could snap easily. Probably want to keep it out of your kid's hands unless you bought it for them. Then uh, hopefully they're not too wild with it. But I could see this dude getting super loose uh, super fast. So ball joint at the shoulder, full rotation. You do get a bicep cut way up, like at the tip of the ball. Uh, double jointed elbows, so... You're going to get some crazy range. This It's not bending at a certain spot. So there we go. Boom. Look at that. And then you get the little elbow pad there. As for his torso, this is on a ball. Oh, that's some good range there. Look at that. Fantastic. Looking good. What is this? His tail or something? Uh, it doesn't have articulation there. These look to be attached by balls. So it looks like there's, there's just some pegs sticking out. Uh, I kind of... I was going to pull it off, but no. There you go. So you can rotate it like that. So forward, back, and out. Not too far. What's going on here? At the knee, you do get a bend? No, maybe this way. You do get a bend. Nope. What is happening? That's a hinge, right? Maybe this one is easier. No. I mean, I keep... Look at that. Just stressing the plastic. That looks like a hinge to me. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's just sculpted to look like a hinge. Come on. There we go. It is a hinge. Why is the plastic stressing so badly like that? There we go. So be careful with yours. 
Uh, you may already have it. Maybe you already broke it. I don't know, but I don't like that. It can hinge either way. So you can hyperextend this way, but you got the little puff guys. Uh, and then the feet, which are super loose, are also on a hinge and swivel and have pivot. So that's crazy for these tiny ankles. Um, yeah, so far, I feel like I'm fumbling around with this guy more often than I need to be. I'm trying to get him flat. So this is another, well, Charizard's not one, but this is another character that's going to have trouble standing without its stand. Articudo being one, his legs are also super flimsy. And I guess that'd be my biggest complaint with the last two figures that I've reviewed is why are the legs so super flimsy? You know, there's some of us, we don't, this takes up real estate on a shelf, you know, and yeah, we could stack people here and there and all that stuff. But I, if I can go without a stand, if I'm not taking figures, uh, photos, then there's no reason for that. That's a glare. While reviewing his paint now, um, it's nice, clean. Look at that. This beige, the eyes, there's a little, little bleed into the white. Eye print looks good. He does have his little nostril sculpted. Nice aqua blue there. The pink on the tongue is fantastic. The blue on the rest of the figure. Lines are clean here on his belly and his chest. Clean white lines here. Nice little star there. Same there with the feet. Looking good, same blue uh, like throughout the most of the figure. And then these are a clear plastic with some white paint on them uh, to be their ninja stars, aqua ninja stars. I forget the name, please correct me in the comments. Uh, yeah, this guy being a big Ash uh, Pokemon. So Pikachu, Charizard back in the day, and now Greninja. So it'd be interesting if we see if we get a Greninja Ash, an Ash Greninja, excuse me, Pokemon figure from Jazzwares. Uh, and would it be this big? So let's get him on the stand and let's get his wave mates out here. Which I'll do that. Sorry, I'm just trying to get him situated as if he's standing on his toes the way he's supposed to be. All right, give me a sec. So here are the three Jazzwares Pokemon Select so far. The amazing, amazing Charizard, which uh, I think some dude commented that I was biased. It was a biased review. Uh, I just praised this. I didn't say, you know, screw the, the D-Arts one. You can't even get that one. So get this one, 20 bucks. However, I'm not seeing this on the shelf. I'm just seeing Articuno or Greninja on the shelves these days. He's looking huge, right? Looking huge. Let me... Reposition. Actually, I'll just do it. I don't know why I'm telling you everything I want to do. Just do it. So you can see there. Yeah, Greninja's on the stand, but we'll get him there. Uh, he's still a little big, I think. I think he's like five foot seven or something like that. So he is the one that's out of scale. This is actually smaller. I think I went ahead and looked. This is a smaller uh, Pokemon than the Charizard. Still legendary. You can't take that away from him her, whatever your Articuno gender may be. But yeah, let's get some other comparisons here. I guess I'll put you over here. So here he is with one of my favorite Figmas, Pokemon Trainer Red. Looking a little large. Guess what? I found my Ash Ketchum. There he is, SH Figuarts Ash Ketchum. What do you think? You know, does he scale well with this Greninja? Uh, you know, see, seeing them next to each other, I think Greninja should be about his height, right? Let me know. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I don't remember, rather. Um, but again, that's been kind of my issue. And I feel like I'm walking on eggshells every time I talk about scale. Because I understand when you catch Pokemon, they can have various heights and all that stuff. There has to be an average. And I don't know what that average is. But this Ash and this Greninja look decent with each other. Let me get one more out here. SH Fig Arts, Jesse and James. So happy I found these again. Uh, moving sucks, man. Boxing things up. Where is it? Get all crazy. There we go. These look awesome all together, despite what may be out of scale differences. Uh, but I love the bright and colorfulness of this line and all of these guys together. 
Greninja being a playable character in Smash Brothers. This could uh, be somebody in your Smash display. And just like that, here's some characters from the Smash Brothers series. Looking awesome together, man. Awesome. I guess, Articuno, you were a helper, I think, on the GameCube. And you, sir, are a fighter. So there we go. What do you think? Get some good battle poses out of this, right? Throw some Samus, your Figma Samus, your Figma Link, your, uh, what else is there? Uh, your, your, your Jack specific Princess Peach, uh, and a lot more. So, uh, your, all your Figma Fire Emblem characters. And I'm trying to think more, your Figma Solid Snake, a lot of Figma. So Solid Snake. And yeah, so didn't think that part of the review through. So that's why I'm stumbling on names. Uh, but yeah, these look awesome together. And again, the Greninja, you know, just play a game of Smash Brothers. Check out his height there. He may be not as tall, but it's an okay buy. I'm not, I'm not like, wow, what a, what a value like I was with Charizard and Articuno. Uh, the, these, these tiny skinny joints just don't do it for me. Um, yeah, I don't know how they could have improved on that. And I also, again, if it was a little smaller, maybe it could have been a little thicker proportion wise. I don't know. You let me know. But that's it, articulation, your paint review, and a bunch of comparisons to some of your Nintendo favorites and Pokemon anime favorites. Thank you so much for checking this out, throwing this dude in here just because. And uh, yeah, so uh, let me take the time to ask you to please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you and your views and your likes, even your dislikes. Uh, turn on that notification bell and let me also ask you if you could subscribe to my Instagram page uh, where I showcase things I review or just showcase things that I bought. Uh, no, no real action figure photography, maybe every now and then, once in a blue moon, I'll do something, but mostly showcasing what I go through review wise. And that is that. All right, dudes, I will see you in the next one.